Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, we made up in our minds to rejoice and be glad therein. I'm so thankful, so appreciative for all of you uh, for joining us this morning for our 10th day of our 21 days of prayer and consecration. And man, we have been having a phenomenal time um, these last 10 days. Um, our times together, I was just um, thinking about it a moment ago, our times together that we've been praying corporately, whether that be um, on the call like we are presently doing, or whether we're doing it corporately in the physical building as we do Monday through Friday uh, at 6 p.m. All of those are recorded and everything is online. It's all on YouTube. It's all on Facebook. YouTube probably the easiest place to find it. Just go to our Truth and Love Ministries page. Uh, tap where it says videos, and then you can, all of them are right there in consecutive order. If you have not been able uh, to catch all of them, uh, whether it be the prayers in the morning or the times of corporate worship in the evening, man, that'll be something great for you to add to your um, your playlist as we are in this time of consecration. Instead of you catching up on your Judge Joe Mathis, uh, man, listen to some prayer <laughs> instead of you uh, doing some of the things we would normally be doing. Uh, this would kind of help you uh, kind of stay in the spirit on the Lord's day uh, to kind of go back through those prayers. We've been having a phenomenal time, and I'm not just saying that because I have been a part of them. I've been saying I'm saying that because the Lord himself has been a part of our, our times of prayer, uh, whether it's in the morning on our calls or whether it is. Um, together corporately, um, the Lord has been allowing us to have specific targets, specific things that we've been praying about. Um, and man, um, it's just been absolutely phenomenal. So I just, I just challenge you to do that. If you're just looking for something to do, of course, you have our one year Bible that we have that you can, uh, that you can grab. Many of you have those, have it already. I challenge you to jump in. It's not too late. It's only the, what day of the year it is. Only 11th day of the year. You can catch up very quickly. It only take about 20 minutes a day. Um, and you can read through the entire Bible, 20 to 30 minutes a day. You'll read a psalm, a proverb, something from the New Testament, something from the Old Testament. And man, in a year, and you've been, you, you have um, read through the Bible. Some of you are some more aggressive plans, the way you're reading the Bible in 90 days and things of that nature. And all that's phenomenal as well. As long as we're giving ourselves over to some type of spiritual discipline is the point that I'm trying to make. And we consume our time and our day. Um, with so much um, carnality, with so much stuff that just appeases our flesh. Um, and then we wonder why we're so weak spiritually when it comes to the time of testing, the time of challenge, the time of temptation. Um, and we always give it in because we don't have anything to, to draw from. So I challenge you uh, to, to begin your year uh, the way you want your year to be, um, the way you are, you are putting your time in and you're doing what you need to do. So, Father, we thank you. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We thank you for this is the day that you made, a day, God, that we made up in our minds to rejoice, a day we made up in our minds to be glad therein. We're so grateful, so thankful, so appreciative for life, for health, for strength. We're thankful, God, for all that you've done, and we're thankful for all that you're going to do. We even pause for the cause, and Lord, tell you thank you for modern technology. We're thankful for modern technology, the fact, God, that where we are able to even be on this call, God, and be able to be all over the city, be in different parts of the country, but yet and still we can be connected together. We may be physically separated, but we're still spiritually connected and socially connected. And we thank you for that in the name of Jesus. We thank you for modern technology. There were individuals that are listening to this prayer later in the day or later down the road, maybe months from now, years from now. Uh, but yet because of technology, we're able to record this prayer and we're able to go back and hear this prayer. We thank you uh, that where we have the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ at our fingertips and at our disposal, where we have messages at the messages and prayers after prayers and worship song after worship song, thousands and thousands of songs and thousands and thousands of messages and thousands and thousands of prayers. 
We're so thankful that we live in a technology uh, driven society, God, that we're able to have all these things at our fingertips and at our disposal. Uh, sure, we have a whole lot of other things that we don't need to be dealing with and dabbling with and, and, and entertaining at our fingertips. But we're thankful, God, that you've given us an alternative. We're thankful, God, that you've given us, God, something different. We're thankful, God, that you've given us something that we're able to be able to participate and to be able to have, to be able to help us to build up our most holy faith with praying in the Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, that we're able to build up on our spiritual walk and build up as relates to what it is that you so called us to do. We're able to do that, God, not just on our own. You didn't call us to be in an island. You didn't call us, God, just to be out here by ourselves, but we thank Thank you, God, that where we can be connected spiritually, even through technology. And God, we're able to where we're able to be connected even in the physical sense, God, through the local church. We give your name the glory for that. We thank you, God, this morning, God, for life and health and strength. We thank you for the use and activity of our limbs. We're thankful and we're appreciative, God, for the fact, God, that where we're sound and in our right mind. We're clothed in our right mind. We thank you, God, that where we know what today is. We know what the day of the week is. We know what time it is. We know our name. We know that we're dialed in the prayer. We knew how to dial in the prayer and we don't never take those things for granted. We thank you for the small things. It's not until I saw somebody struggling with dementia and struggling with Alzheimer's that it caused me to slow down a little bit and be thankful for the soundness of mind, God, that you have not allowed my mind to slip. But no, God, you've allowed me to be clothed and in my right mind. It's not until I saw individuals struggling with breathing and struggling with cancer cancers in their body and kidney failures and, and all of these different things that go on, God, that cause me to slow down personally and say, Lord, I thank you for those small things, the little things that I take for granted, the fact that I can just jump out of bed and go, the fact, God, that I can be able to just move and to, and to do what I need to do. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for that, God. We give you glory and honor. It's in you that we live, that we move, that we have our very being. You didn't have to do it, uh, but you did it, God. This we recall to our mind. Therefore, have we hope it is of your mercy that we are not consumed because your compassion, they fail not, but they are renewed towards us every single morning. Great is thy faithfulness. You are a faithful God. You've been good to us in spite of us. You've been good to us even when we were not good to you. Even when we're unfaithful, you are faithful. Even when we're inconsistent, you're consistent. Even whenever it is that we act as if we don't know any better. You still love us with an everlasting love. And we give your name glory for that. We give your name honor for that, for loving us with an everlasting love. We give your name the glory for loving us, God, to where one song says you look beyond our fault and yet you see our need. We give you glory for looking beyond us, for looking beyond our faults, for looking beyond our shortcomings, for looking beyond God, our our attitudes and our little moves that we have. Look beyond our, our fits of carnality, our complaining, our murmuring and our groaning and our whining. We thank you for looking beyond all of that, God, and seeing us, seeing your sons and seeing your daughters. And for that, God, we tell you, thank you. Thank you for being so consistent. Thank you for being so faithful. Thank Thank you for being so just. Thank you for being so loving. Thank you for being for being that I am that I am. Thank you for being whatever it is that we need. You are that. Thank you for you being the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank you for Malachi said that, that I am the Lord God and I change not. Thank you for not changing. Thank you. He goes on to say this is the reason why you are not consumed because I change not. And we thank you for not changing. We thank you for being being, for being all together loving. We thank you for being all together merciful. Thank you for being omnipresent, omnipotent, omnibenevolent. Thank you for that, God. We give your name the glory this morning, God, because many of us, we come to this call and we come to these times of prayer. And God, we got different things that we're dealing with and different circumstances that we're going through. But yet and still, God, it makes no difference what it is that we're experiencing or going through. None of that matters 
matters, God, when we get into your presence. None of that matters, God, whenever it is we come before you. None of that matters, God, whenever it is that we come and we and we bask in your presence and we bask in your glory. God, you allow, God, our troubles and our pains and our fears. You allow them to disintegrate whenever it is that we come into your presence because, God, you engulf us with your presence. In your presence, God, there's fullness of joy and at your right hand, there's pledges forevermore. In your presence, God, there's righteousness, there's peace and there's joy. In your presence, God, it's freedom, there's liberty, God, in your presence. And we thank you. We thank you, God, for giving us, God, the access that we need to be able to come into your presence. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll forget about ourselves even right now, that we'll forget about our trouble even right now. We'll forget about, God, our circumstance and things that we're going through even right now. And God, we'll set our face and we'll set our attention and our focus on you. We pray, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll rid us of every distraction, that you'll rid us of everything that's stopping us, God, at the beginning of this year, that's stopping us, God, from, from, from realizing our breakthrough, that's stopping us, God, from realizing what it is that you desire to do in and through our lives. That's uh, those obstacles, God, those barricades. And trying to do everything that it possibly can to keep us hindered, to keep us bound, to keep us distracted, to keep our mind and our heart on everything else but you. But no, God, this is what we're doing these first 21 days, God. We're sacrificing them and giving them to you, God, because we desire for you to keep the next 21 days and then the next 21 weeks and then to keep the next months ahead. We desire for you to keep all of every, every step of the way. And God, that's why we're, we're, we know that the enemy is fighting us tooth and nail to keep us from our breakthrough. The enemy is fighting us tooth and nail to keep us from realizing and walking in that healthy place, in that wealthy place, to keep us from walking in that safe place, to keep us from walking in that place of grace and that place of favor. And God, we know that the enemy is fighting us tooth and nail, but he is a lie right now in the name of Jesus. We will be who it is that you called us to be. We will walk the way you call us to walk. We will do what it is you call us to do. We will overcome God, our flesh. We will come out of our misery. We will come out of our pity party. We will overcome. We will we will walk according to your will and your way and your word. We give your name the glory for it now. We give your name the honor for it right now, God, because we will. God, if you call us out, God, we can do it. God, if you call us out, God, we're able to obtain it. That's what you did to Peter when you came walking on the water and Peter said, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. And you just simply said, come. And God, I believe, God, that's what you're desiring for us to do in this brand new year and this brand new season. I believe, God, that we it's not just enough just to know where you are. It's not just enough, enough to know that, that, that that's you, but God, we, you desire for us to come and be where you are. You desire for us to step out of our comfort and step out of our stability. Oh, how foolish it is in the natural for a, a fisherman to, st to step out of a good boat, a perfectly good boat. Nothing's wrong with the boat. Nothing no holes in the boat. No, it's not going under. But a, a professional fisherman who knows fishing, who knows those waters, he will step out out of that perfectly fine boat and step onto something and step out into the unknown. And God, I believe that's what you're calling for us to do, God, to step out of our stability, to step out of our normalcy, to step out of our ease, to step out of our comfort and God, to step onto, uh, step out onto the unknown. And God, if you told us to come, God, your, your, that, that word that you say, God, is, it, it becomes a concrete pavement for us to walk on. When you tell us to come, God, your word God, it, it rolls out to us like a carpet and we can step onto it, God, in, in, in spite of the instability of the water, in spite of the instability, God, of the unfamiliar, in spite of the instability, God, of everything that's around us, despite of the instability, God, of not knowing, of us not knowing, of us not being able to, to see and to realize and to acknowledge. In spite of all of those things, we can step out on your word and your word makes a difference. We can step out on your word and your word makes it makes it concrete. We can step out on your word and God, it'll be your word that'll uphold us. It's your word, God, that'll sustain us. It's your word, God, that'll keep us. It's a word, it's your word that'll keep us from falling. It's your word that'll keep us from drowning. It's your word, God, that'll keep us from 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 being from being consumed by what it is that we're standing on. We give your name the glory this morning. We give your name the honor, God, because we're stepping out. We're stepping out of ungodly relationships this year. We're stepping out, God. We're stepping 
stepping out, God, of, of being, of being, of not being consistent when it comes to giving to you. We're stepping out this year, God, when it comes to us not uh, letting go and holding on the grudges and being angry and being upset and being all fun. We're, we're stepping out, God. We're stepping out of our comfort and what we know and just say, oh, I'm just like this. Oh, my mama was like this. My daddy was like this. Or I've been like this. We're stepping out of the familiar, God, and we're stepping into a season of stretching. We're stepping into a season, God, the way you desire for us to be in. God, the way we can be able to give you optimum glory and optimum praise, God, with everything that we do. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor, God, for calling us to step out. God, we thank you for that. We're not stepping out, God, doing what we desire to do. We're not stepping out, God, because we don't want accountability that we just want to say, oh, this is my time. This is my season for me to do whatever the devil I want to do. That's not what we're stepping out to, God, but no, we're stepping out. We're stepping out of our comfort and we're stepping into your will and we thank you, God, that you won't call us somewhere, God, and you not endorse us. We thank you. You will not call us somewhere and God, you will not embrace us. You will not call us somewhere, God, and you won't catch us, but we thank you, God, that you're calling us and you're going to catch us. We bless your name this morning, God, because of, because of the, 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 the confidence that we can have in your word. We bless your name this morning, God, because we, we don't got the, we don't have to worry about God, what it is that you're doing or going to do, but no, God, you're you're fully confident and we're, we're fully confident, God, because of what it is that you said. And God, if you said it, God, it's going to happen. You're not a man that you shall lie, neither the son of man that you shall repent. Oh, but God, if you said it to us, God, you're going to, it's, it's going to come to pass and you're going to make it good. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. We give your name the praise. You are our source and our strength. So we're going to step out. God, we give your name the glory. We give your name the honor and the praise. You are our helper. Oh, and God, that's why we step out and we give you glory and honor. God, you are our everything. We call on your name this morning, God, because when we call on your name, you give us strength. When we call on your name, God, you build us up. When we call on your name, God, you give us a strength, God, beyond our own. God, when we call on your name, God, you give us insight beyond our own. When we call on your name, God, you give us an acute wisdom beyond our own. When we call on your name, God, uh, you give us an insight. You give us something be that's beyond our years. God, when we call on your name, you give us something that's beyond our own experience, God, when we call on your name. We thank you that where we can call on you, God, and we can tap into your wisdom. We can call on you, God, and we can tap into your insight. We can call on you, God, and we'll tap into confidence and boldness, God. We thank you for that, God, that where we don't have to stand on our own might. We don't got to stand in our own strength. Oh, no, God. In fact, God, the weaker that we are, God, the more that you come to help us, the weaker that we are, God, the more that you sustain us. The weaker that we are, God, the more that you can be strong. Your power is perfected in our weaknesses. And God, we ease up, God. We back down. We die down. And God, we give it is. We give in to you, God, the way you can be able, God, to be able to flow in us and move in us like never before. We give your name the glory, God. We give your name the honor. And we give you permission, God, to stand strong, God, and do what only you can do. And God, flow in your people, God. Walk in your people, God. Stretch out in your people in the name of Jesus. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor because we know it's not by our power. We know it's not by our might, but by your spirit. We know it's not by power. It's not by a great army. It's not by us having some squad. It's not about us having some Navy SEALs. It's not about us having some special forces. It's not by power. It's not by might. That means it's not by some type of military, some kind of militant militant hero is not Conan, not the Terminator, not just this one person that we're looking to, longing to, that's going to win and fight for us. No, not in a not in a natural sense, but no, it's not by power. It's not by might, but it's by your spirit. This one, God, is going to be done, God, because we're dependent upon your spirit. This one's going to be done, God, because we're looking and longing for you. This one's going to be done, God, because we need you to move like never before. This one needs to be done, God, because this is all about you. And God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, even as we have different things going on in our lives. God, help us, God, to know that it's not by our power, not by our might. We got some of us have have Savior syndrome. Some of us have a, a, a Messiah complex. God, the way we think we got to swoop in and we got to help and we got to do this and it's all to our demise. We got to be on the scene. We got to be there and everything that goes on in our family, everything that goes on on the job, everything that goes on in this group, 
group or that group. We feel like we got we got to swoop in and be the savior. We feel like we got to swoop in and be the Messiah, and we got to be on the scene. We got to know about everything. Oh no, God, that is, that, that we're gonna we're gonna kill ourselves. We're gonna get to the place where we we can't handle it all. We can't help everybody. We don't have enough resources, God, to help everybody. We don't have enough time in the day to help everybody. We don't have enough. We don't have enough energy, God. We only got one energy bucket, God, to help everybody. And the enemy, God, as I heard a preacher say many years ago, if the devil can't make you bad, he'll make you busy. If the devil can't make you make you wicked, he'll make you always on, always here and always there and running with this and running with that. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll tap into a place, God, that we'll, we'll understand, God, that we can't do it. It's not by us, God. It's not, we, we, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not going to happen because of us. It's not going to happen because of what it, it because of the fact that we're involved in it. But no, God, we got to involve you in it. And God, we got to get out of the way, God. It's by your spirit that it's going to be done. It's not that we're not concerned. Oh, yeah, we're concerned. It's not that we're not going to pray. We're going to pray. Oh, but God, we cannot allow people and circumstances, especially from their own, for their own foolish mistakes and from their own things that they do on their own that cause us to go down with them, that cause us, God, because to make their, to make their 911 our 911, to make whatever it is that's going on in their world because of their lack of planning, because of their lack of commitment, because of their lack of discipline, because they didn't do what they need to do when they could have done it. Now they're just going to derail our lives. Now they're going to cause us to back up from the things of God. Now we can't worship because we we out there we out there trying to trying to find them and trying to catch them. Now we're going to miss the word because we out there trying to run and up and down the street trying to do this and trying to do that. Oh, the devil is a lie. Oh, we're going to keep the main thing, the main thing this year. Oh no, the devil is a lie. The, oh, you, you, you don't want me to miss out from getting the word because if I don't get the word, I can't help you. If I can't get the word, I don't got no strength. I don't got no direction. I don't got no insight. Oh, the scripture says, well, there's no prophetic vision. The people cast off restraint. I can't substitute getting the word to sit around and talk to you. I need to get the word. I can't sit, I can't substitute and sacrifice getting worship to sit around and hear you talk about the same thing again that you've been talking to since World War II. I can't substitute getting my worship because the worship builds me up. The word builds me up. The, the worship in the word gives me what it is that I need that I can make it another day. And God, help us this year, God, to where not to not to prioritize our life, but help us this year, God, to where you are our priority. You are the only priority in our life. God, it's all about you. It's all about you. It, 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 we, we're going to seek you first and all of your rights and then all these things will be added. It doesn't matter if it's our spouse, God. Are they trying to distract us from the things of God, trying to distract us from getting that worship, getting that word. Oh no, God, you are our priority. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's our children. If they're trying to distract us and they got this going on and they got that going on, particularly if they're grown, particularly if we've already trained them and taught them and equipped them and empowered them and they still want to be foolish. They still want to be in love with crazy people. They still want to run up and down the streets and go party and go club and go drink and go smoke, go sex and go do all that and then they want to derail our lives. The devil is alive. We toss it in turn and we all upset and don't know which, whether we going or we coming because of what they got going on particularly our family God if they're grown and, and they got their own thing they got their own issues they got all this stuff going on but they want to derail us from our pro top priority even on our job they want to derail us from our top priority to consume us and to overload us with work and we got this going on and that going on and no 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 I got you are our priority help us not just to say that God but help us to embody that we won't let anything distract us this year so some of us, God, we've been we've been in the wilderness way too long. Some of us, God, we've been circling around these mountains way too long. Some of us, God, we've been in this desert for way too long. We've been in this barren track of land for way too long. And the devil don't even got to train, don't even got to trade out his tactics. He don't even have to do anything different. All he need to do is get us distracted. All he need to do is have somebody pull at our heart string. All he got to do is have somebody to get us off the where we're off the beaten path and we're derailed. And there we go. We got to take another lap in the wilderness. Oh, but the devil is a lie. Oh, we're going to turn northward. Oh, we've circled this mountain long enough. We encompass this mountain long enough. And now we're going to turn northward. Now we're going to head up. God It's only up from here. And God, we're going to head and we're going to do and we're, we're going to become everything God that you so desire for us to be in the name of Jesus. We give your name the glory. Oh, because we won't waste any more time. We give your name the glory God because we will not allow anybody or anything God to distract us another day. Oh, 
but no, we're going to be focused on you. Oh God, we're going to fo- gonna focus on you by eliminating. We're going to eliminate the other options. Oh, there's not another option. There's some things that are non-negotiable. Oh no, I'm going to worship. That's non-negotiable. No, I'm going to get this word. No, this is non-negotiable. I'm going to be focused because I'm going to eliminate my other options. There are no other options. There are no plan B's. There is no alternate route. There is no, there is no another way. There is no, there is no, 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 no back road, no back street, but no God is all you. You are the way. You are the truth and you're the life. This year, God, we're going to be committed to doing what it is you called us to do. Oh God, you have allowed us to be born on purpose and for purpose. And for so long, God, we've been doing and fulfilling everything else for everybody else. But this year, oh God, we're going to be faithful and we're going to be available and teachable, God, to what it is that you call us to do. And we give your name the glory for it. We're going to tap into our purpose this year. We're going to walk into our purpose this year. We're going to flow in our purpose this year. We're going to do what it is that you called us and ordained us to do in the name of Jesus. No longer will we use excuses. No longer, God, will we take the the the, 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 the road, God, if easy, the road that's easy to travel. Oh, no longer, God, will we just do what we need to do to get by. Oh, but no, this year, God, we're going to be committed and we're going to be called to what it is that you so have ordained for us in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, whatever that thing is, God, help us to discover it. Oh, God, it's up to us, God. It's up to us to discover it. It's up to us, God, to seek your face. It's up to it's up to us, God, to ask you. It's up to us, God, to ask our spiritual leaders, God, for in some insight and some direction. It's up to us, God, to dig into your word, God, to, to try to figure out what this thing is. It's up to us, God, to discover this thing. It's up to us, God, not only after we discover it, we got to develop it. Oh, God, we got to, we got to cultivate it. We got to bathe it in prayer and bathe it in your word. We got to, and we got, then we got to, then we got to, we got to deploy it, God. We got to actually use it. We got to discover it. We got to develop it. We got to sharpen it with your word. And God, we got to sharpen it and hone it with the spirit. And then we got to put it to practice. We can't keep blaming everything on the society. Keep blaming everything on what's going on in the world. There's a lion in the street. Oh, there's a, there's a famine in the land. Oh, there's a pandemic. There's COVID. There's cancers. There's this. There's that. There's murder. There's that. There's always something, God. Oh, but this year, God, we're going to rise and shine and we're going to give you glory. Oh, but this year, God, we're going to make up in our mind that nothing will pull us off the wall. It won't be Sam Ballard. No, you're not pulling me off the wall, Sam Ballard. It won't be Tobiah. No, we're not pull- you're not pulling me off the wall. I'm not coming down to talk to you. I'm not coming down to entertain you. I'm not going to stop working for God to meet with you. Oh, we'll have a talk after. We'll meet after. But no, right now I got a brick in one hand and I got a sword in the other and I'm forcibly building God's kingdom. Help that be our mindset, God. Help that be what it is that we do, God, that we're going to pray for these individuals. We're going to love on these individuals, but we will not be distracted by them. And we give you glory and honor and praise. It doesn't matter how close they are. It doesn't matter what, 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 it doesn't matter how much we love them. God, we got to put you first, God, and we got to prioritize our life. God, the way you are our only priority and it's out of our number one priority that all of our love flows. I don't, I don't even want to love my wife, God, out of a place that you're not my priority because I'm, because my love is contaminated. My love is not pure because my love is, 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 is mixed. It's not mixed properly. Oh, but when I love my spouse, God, out of your love, when my love flows out of my love for you, oh God, I'm a lover the way you call me the lover. I'm a lover the way God, in spite of the things that, then in spite of the things that I don't want to do, I'm going to love a God out of the fact that your, of what your words say. I'm a lover in spite of a shortcomings. I'm a lover in spite of me being offended. I'm a lover in spite of me not wanting to, wanting to forgive. When I love my children, God, and my love flows through you, if, if it's just the love just coming through me, I'm going to love them the way I want to love them. I'm going to spoil them to death. I'm going to give them everything they want. And then when I raise them and spoil them and they, and they, and they don't get, and they don't know, they don't know, they don't have no stability and don't know nothing about responsibility. God, I'm, I really just set them up for failure. But God, I need to love them. God, I, my love for them needs to flow through you. It needs to be filtered through you. And God, I don't want to love my neighbor based just flowing through me, but it needs to be filtered through you. It needs to flow through you. It needs the funnel of your love and the funnel of your grace. It needs to flow out of you and out of you being our priority. Everything else flows out of you being our priority. That's how we love our spouse. That's how we love our children. That's how we love our neighbor. That's how we love our community. That's how we be a, 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 a good employer. That's how we be a good employee. That's how we do what we do in school. That's how we do what we do, God, because it flows through you. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. And we give your name the praise. We thank you, God, because everything we do, God, it flows through you. 
It flows through you, through your word, and through what it is that you have given us. We thank you on this 10th day, God, as we are, we're praying that our local church, God, be committed to evangelism. That's our target today. Uh, but, God, you have me on something else. <laughs> I thank you for the target. I'm grateful for the target, and I pray. God, that we will be committed to evangelism. And God, when when we when we make you our priority, evangelism will be our priority, God, because that's what you're after. You're after souls. You want individuals to come into the kingdom. You want people to know you like never before. And God, we thank you for that. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. Thank you for our marriages. That we have kingdom marriages. Thank you for our singles. That we have we have kingdom singles. God, we thank you that you'll cover us in all of our relationships. Let our relationships be godly this year. Let our relationships be honoring you. Let our relationships, God, be 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 to the place, God, that where we're able to add strength to our relationships, God, because we're strong in you. We pray for our babies and our children, our grandchildren, our nieces, our nephews. We ask you, God, to cover them and be with them in the name of Jesus. We don't never take it for granted. God, our children, they don't know any better. Our children, many of them are vulnerable. Many of them, God, are just, just, just enjoying life. We look at them oftentimes. I know I look at my babies and I say, nah, like, they don't have a care in the world. They don't have a clue about all the things that, that is going on in this world and all of that. They're just so innocent. And God, we ask you, God, to protect our babies and be with our babies. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus, keep from all hurt, all harm, all danger, oh God, all incidents, all accidents in the name of Jesus. When we can't be there for them, you be there. We ask you, God, to allow goodness and mercy to follow them all the days of their life. We pray, God, that you'll keep them insulated in your secret place, in the secret tabernacle, in the pavilion. We ask you to keep our children, our grandchildren, no stray bullets, God, no cars jumping the curb, oh God, no terrorists, no terrorist attack, God, no, 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 no bullets, no drive-bys. No nothing, God. We pray that you'll protect our children in the name of Jesus. And not just the babies, God, but the but the, but our teenagers. And not just the teenagers, but the grown ones, God. Protect our children, God, from the, from the youngest to the oldest in the name of Jesus. Be with our children. Be with our babies. And keep them from the pedophiles. And keep them from the rapers. And keep them from the molesters, God. Just do what only you can do in the lives of our children. We thank you for that. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. We thank you, God, for our local church. We ask you to continue to breathe on Truth and Love Ministries. We're so grateful, God, to be a part of a of a church that is alive, a church, God, that is vibrant, a church, God, that is growing, a church, God, that is impacting the community. And we thank you for that. We pray, God, that you'll continue to have your good hand to be upon our local church, to be upon our ministry, God, the way you would get the glory and the honor and the praise out of everything that we do. We bless your name for truth and love. Continue to send souls. Continue to allow the vision to come to pass. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. I thank you for my wife, Lady Camilla. I ask you to continue to keep her and strengthen her, keep her whole and healthy, and God, continue to do what only you can do in and through the woman of God, Asharia, Kendall, Carson. Thank you for C4. Thank you for all of my children. God, the way you'll keep them exactly where you desire for them to be at, and that's right there in the middle of your will. We give you glory for it. We give you honor and we give you praise, and this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, God, you said we can have it, and God, we thank you in advance. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen, amen. Well, I love y'all. I thank God for you. I appreciate you. Uh, God had us uh, right where he wanted us, right where he desired for us to be this morning. And so I'm so thankful for all of you. I appreciate all of you. Of course, we'll be praying again tonight at 6 p.m. at the facility. If you feel comfortable, come out to the house of the Lord and pray with us. Um, and, and we also will be streaming YouTube, Facebook, uh, again, all of the prayers are online. If you desire to kind of have some time of consecration, go back through the prayers and listen to the prayers, um, whether it be our times in the morning or our times in the evening, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta minute to choose from. You can start at day one and go all the way back through and, um, uh, man, God is going to bless you, man. I love y'all. I thank God for you. Take a moment and post on group me. Encourage one another. Uh, let's let's keep let's keep at this. We gotta we gotta stay consistent. We gotta stay faithful. We gotta see this to the end. And so I thank God for all of you, man. I appreciate you. I pray you have a phenomenal day on purpose. I pray God let you bump into somebody today that you can evangelize, that you can share your faith with, that you can encourage them, that you can pray with them. And I pray that you'll be looking for it. You got to be praying and relying on God to send the right people your way. You can pray for them and encourage them. All right. I thank God for you. I love y'all. I talk to you later. I see you tonight at 6 p.m. Here come to church. Bye bye.